had arrived in Jerusalem a few days earlier. Rumors were circling that I was saying it was a sin to obey the laws that Moses gave us. I was announcing the days we would be observing the Jewish customs to the people. Towards the end of the purification ritual, some Jewish people grabbed me and told everyone I was defying God's holy temple. They wanted to kill me, but a commander came along and they stopped beating me. I asked him if I could address the crowd, and I told them my history. I was born in Tarsus and educated in Jerusalem. I became very zealous and tried to honor God in everything I did. I thought those who followed Jesus were not following God. I did not believe in Jesus, so I persecuted the followers of Jesus. I even put some of them to death. But then, Jesus appeared to me on the road to Damascus, and I believed in him, and I loved him from then on. Because I was a Roman citizen, they had to give me a fair trial to try and figure out why everyone was so mad at me. They were mad because I was preaching about Jesus. And that can make people who deny him mad. But try explaining that to a bunch of Roman officials. It seems pretty simple. The Romans figured out it was a religious dispute. So they were going to try to let me go. But then there was a plot to kill me, which worried the Romans. So the Romans sent me to an even bigger government officials. I was in prison for two years while all this was being sorted out. I had some freedom so friends could visit and I talked with the governor often. But it was still prison. A new governor took over and he tried to hand me over to the Jews because he didn't really understand what was going on and why I was even in prison. But the Jews would kill me! So I asked to be sent to the Rome for my trial. I told everyone my whole story again. How I was a Pharisee and how I killed Christians until Jesus came to me on the road and then I became a Christian myself. My story was difficult, two years in prison after all, but it was an opportunity to tell others about Jesus. In the end they said I could have been set free right there, but I had already appealed to Caesar in Rome. I had to go to Rome. But all this was God's plan to put me exactly where I needed to be.